Olá, muito boa tarde. Bem-vindos mais uma vez a esta última parte do Automotive Summit de 2020. Eu vou neste momento passar para a língua inglesa porque a nossa próxima interlocutora uh, vai comunicar-nos toda a sua apresentação em inglês. Portanto, uh, our next speaker will be Miss Bensun Sunduru. She was already uh, on our Automotive Summit last year and it's a pleasure to have her back again this year. She has been working with Odette International as an engagement manager, and she manages the Odette members database as well as the Global Partnership Network. Ms. Beisun, welcome back again. Please uh, send us your, or give us your presentation about the theme you are handling us today. Good afternoon and thank you very much for the invitation. Today I will introduce you Audit International and its tools and recommendations. And in the second part of my presentation, I will give information about one of our global supply chain tools, MMOGLE. Let me share my screen. Audit International is a collaboration and services platform for for entire automotive supply chain. It is industry driven, non-profit and pan-European collaboration platform. We bring together supply chain professionals and IT experts to find solutions to the common supply chain problems and at the end focus on the development of standard tools and best practice recommendations for automotive industry. Digitalization and standardization are two pillars of audit activities and audit covers different supply chain processes like digital messaging, track and trace, auto ID, cybersecurity, supply chain capability and performance management and packaging management. Our direct members are national organizations in European countries, Audit Sweden, Galia in France, VDA in Germany and SMMT in the UK. And we also have associate members, and partners uh, from different IT companies and training companies like OPCO in Portugal, Spain and Morocco. And throughout this membership, uh, we have been working together with more than 4000 companies, uh, OEMs and suppliers and also service providers. And Audet has global cooperation with other supply chain organizations. Uh, we are the founding member of Joint Automotive Industry Forum together with AIAG in North America and Gemma Japia in Japan. And Audet is working very close with IT providers and training organizations in key markets in order to ensure the incorporation of uh, audit standards in supply chain software and also to ensure the diffusion of audit recommendations in these regions. And uh, audit has cross-industry cooperation with other standardization bodies such as UNC Facts and DISO and uh, other industry associations like ECG which represents European Vehicle Logistics Association. And to achieve this mission, there is an agile organization in place. Working groups are set up on a project by project basis and they are defined by member companies according to the priorities in supply chain. And Audit has uh, its technology group. It's a permanent, permanent group coming together regularly in order to recommend and develop the appropriate technology and in order to support uh, current working groups. 
and our contributors are supply chain professionals and technical experts. They are nominated by member companies to work together with us and to use their experience to develop the uh, standards and audit national organizations representatives who work alongside industry members to ensure that national industry practices and legal requirements are taken into account. Now let's have a look at some of our tools and recommendations. Audit has many publications for materials management and logistics operations and global MMOGLE is one of them. I will already speak about that later on in more details. Uh, key performance indicators for automotive supply chain management describing the common indicators used between customers and suppliers in order to measure delivery performance. And this recommendation was recently updated together with AIAG. And there is key P KPI for carrier carriers and LSPs describe the indicators for logistics providers, for the evaluation of logistics providers and global materials management and logistics agreement describes the daily day-to-day -day operational terms between business partners in order to support contractual agreements and cover those agreements for supply chain topics and there is global carriers and lsps evaluation to measure the capabilities of logistics service providers and also uh, supply chain risk management publication. Another focus is on the packaging management and packaging equipment and materials, uh, materials occupy the majority of supply chain assets and uh, therefore they need to be managed uh, effectively. And ODET regularly review and discuss the issues uh, with its members in this area and uh, initiate some standards and recommendations. One of them published in 2017 is packaging management guidelines, which describe the essentials of packaging management like pool management and maintenance, packaging agreements, accounting or packaging master data, and another one is digital messages for returnable items in order to support the electronic communication of empty returnable items between customers and suppliers. There are 13 different EDI messages in, in the content of this publication, uh, which are grouped under four categories, uh, order and request and dispatch and receipts of empty packages. And in addition to those publications, we have two working groups for packaging. One is for the definition, a comprehensive definition of packaging master data and definition of standard uh, exchange methods between customers for this information between customers and suppliers. And another one is performance management of packaging manufacturers, the producers of these items. And uh, this uh, project group uh, has, has just been initiated together uh, with uh, different OEMs and automotive manufacturers in Europe. In order to track and trace assets, uh, parts and equipments in supply chain or that transport labels were developed 15 years ago and they are still being used by many companies in Europe and in addition to that uh, there is also global transport label uh, de developed and being updated regularly together with global partners to include new features in order to ensure that they are compliant with the latest tracking technologies. And there are recommendations for the use of RFID, for tracking of parts and assemblies, uh, for container management and vehicle distribution and process. And one of the recent publications is capturing supply chain events with auto ID, uh, which describes a technical infrastructure for the collection and transmission of data captured by RFID. And in addition to those existing publications, all that has a work group to define the technical and process specifications of RFID used in automotive industry. 
And electronic communication is the backbone of digitalization and ODET works on this area since its foundation. ODET file transfer protocol, OFTP2, ensures the security of information exchanged between parties. And this specification is regularly maintained and updated together with a group of OFTP2 experts. And in addition to ensure that the existing so softwares meet the specification, ODET provides OFTP2 software test service and regularly validates the existing and recommended software companies. And in cybersecurity toolbox, there are also uh, audit ID codes and uh, audit certificates for EDI messages and engineering CAT data to guarantee the flawless and secure electronic communication between business partners. And together with our global counterparts, Odets developed digital messages many, many years ago in order to cover multiple supply chain processes. And these messages have been used by thousands of automotive manufacturers all across the world. In addition to the global messages, Odet also has specific message suites in some specific areas like inventory management and engineering data exchange. And one of those is digital messages for finished vehicle logistics. This is a new publication developed together with ODETS, ECG, and VDA, and also many OEMs and logistics service providers in outbound logistics contributed to this publication. It provides a set of standard digital messages, both ad effect and XML messages, to support the communication in the entire finished vehicle logistics processes, like transport forecasts and ordering, or service order, uh, transport status and vehicle status reporting, or inventory damage reporting and compound geofence mapping. And one of our new recommendations in logistics is managing inbound transport with mobile apps. Everyday companies in the automotive industry deal with trucks, arrive their uh, premises to deliver parts or to collect finished products. And to assist this process, mobile apps are uh, increasingly being introduced. And the effectiveness of these apps depend on the quality of information exchange between uh, to those parties. So therefore, uh, all that members were uh, convinced that there is a need uh, for a standardized uh, infrastructure and this publication describes that standard model for the exchange of data between the yard management systems of the plants and the transport management systems of the transport service providers. Those were some of our tools and all that international conference and exhibition has taken place since 1996. It brings together many supply chain and automotive experts and professionals together in a two day event in order to share the experience, in order to present the use cases in supply chain. And uh, there are also other uh, events, site visits and networking events in the content. And our next conference will take place uh, in Prague on 27th, 28th of May next year. And we hope to see you, uh, many of you there as well. Now, um, let me introduce you Global MMOG LE. It was introduced in 2004 by Odet and AIAG. And before that, each association had their own uh, recommendations but then uh, felt the requirement to provide a global guideline for the assessment of overall supply chain. It has been updated regularly in order to consider the latest concepts and the technologies and the development. And version 5 was published in July 2019. Uh, the important note here is uh, Excel tool is not available anymore with version 5, and it is only managed on the browser based web platform MMOGMP. MMOGLE is a supply chain capability assessment tool to measure supply chain management capabilities of organizations against best practice. It is used in automotive production and aftermarket sectors 
and just focusing on the supply chain principles, which uh, makes a difference from IATF 16949, while it is focusing on quality principles. But both tools help organizations to ensure the continuous improvement in those areas. And when uh, properly managed and uh, objectively assessed, MMOG LE helps organizations, helps customers to improve their communication with their customers and to increase uh, supplier delivery performance and transparency of the supplier capabilities and also uh, ensure the common understanding of uh, supply chain problems. And it helps suppliers to determine the robustness of existing internal processes and uh, so to facilitate uh, continuous improvement and uh, finally increase customer satisfaction in supply chain. It can be used as an internal assessment, self-assessment tool to assess organizations' own performance and processes and capabilities uh, for, and for internal and external benchmarking purposes. And or it can be used as an assessment tool between OEMs and tier ones, tier ones and tier twos, or between lower tiers to facilitate supplier improvement and developments in in the entire supply chain and to support the supplier selection process. There are two assessment profiles, full and basic. Basic is the lighter version of full and it is aimed at smaller uh, organizations and in the uh, companies in developing markets. Both have six chapters, three classification levels, ABC for full and ZA, ZB and ZC for basic and 43 F3 questions. Uh, in the content of MMOG LE, uh, there is a weighted scoring system and each criterion out of 187 have different weights, F3, F2 and F1. F3 criteria are fundamental questions in order to eliminate any unexpected costs in the operations of suppliers and customers and to prevent any breakdown at customers' operations like line stoppages. F2 criteria are uh, also very important and they should be met at a certain level in order to prevent any unexpected situation. And F1 criteria mostly help companies to uh, become world-class organizations. And there are six chapters and sub-chapters in the content of MMOGLE, and those chapters are strategy and improvements, work organization, capacity and production planning, customer interface, production and product control, and supplier interface. And some of the highlights of key changes with version 5 um, are uh, actually the chapters are the same, but some of the highlights and sub chapters are IATF uh, alignment with IATF 16949 and risk management and contingency plans uh, involvements uh, include uh, cybersecurity policy and more emphasis on full system integration. Uh, and leveraging the complete uh, planning system, not only for internal purposes, but also uh, for the uh, communication between uh, uh, supplier and sub suppliers. And additional requirements in managing suppliers, like uh, supplier selection process, performance management process, and assessing uh, supplier assessments, it's another highlight uh, in version five in order to also develop and improve lower tiers and achieving the electronic electronic exchange of data with uh, suppliers and finally adoption of advanced technologies industry 4.0 technologies to increase the performance and efficiency so it doesn't only help the organization itself and also helps the sub suppliers and uh, it is um, it is deployed uh, within, within the uh, entire supply chain. 
MMOGLE customer requirements could vary uh, from each other. Some of the customers could ask the completion of self-assessments self uh, on an annual basis, as it is the case for Ford between May and July, or on requirements. Or some of the customers uh, could make on-site audits together with their suppliers, again, on a regular basis, annually or on requirements. Uh, but all customers ask their suppliers to submit the assessment result and the scoring of the assessment uh, via different channels uh, through MMOGMP mailbox or uh, on customer portals or via emails. And they could ask the action plans uh, on their portals again, and they expect the achievement of a certain scoring level, level A or level B with some terms. And the version required is uh, also defined by the customer. Uh, most of our, uh, most of the MMOGLE customers have already migrated to V5 uh, in 2019 and at the beginning of 2020, and the uh, others uh, are in the migration process. So uh, some of them could still ask version four, but it is uh, possible to complete the assessments uh, on MMOGMP. Uh, if you have any um, questions about your customer uh, specific requirements, I recommend you to communicate with them in order to check and clarify, clarify those points. MMOGMP is the browser-based application uh, which can be used with all latest browsers Chrome, Edge, Firefox, Opera, and Safari. And uh, there is a powerful database um, inside the platform. Uh, the, the history of the assessments can be tracked, and uh, it is also possible uh, to ensure unlimited number of users with controlled access. Uh, both infrastructure and the assessments have different uh, languages available in addition to English and uh, it supports uh, both version 4.1 and version 5 and also all uh, profiles full and basic and all excel functionalities are embedded in mmogmp it is compatible with tablet and smartphone and it is on interoperable between uh, platforms so you can use your previous assessments as templates you don't have to start from scratch to create a new assessment or uh, if uh, your customers ask you to uh, provide ver assessments with version 4, you can uh, complete your assessments on MMOGMP to an Excel for version 4 by using Converter tool. And uh, again, you can uh, import your previous Excel uh, assessment for version 4 by using tool into MMOGMP. And uh, it is also possible to import uh, customers and suppliers information by using bulk import uh, function, uh, function and internal email system to submit assessments and receive uh, customer feedback is one of the features of MMOG MP uh, for the communication between customers and suppliers. Some basic steps uh, from order to set up of MMOGMP. The first step is ordering the license key, and the license is linked to the number of sites to be assessed and the version of MMOGLE. There could be one site, single site for each license, or could be more than one single site, a corporate uh, license for corporate license. And the current license for MMOGMP includes uh, both version 4 and version 5. And after ordering, a confirmation of payments will be received and with a direction insight to the list, to the link, uh, to all available materials, videos, user manuals, which are very informative uh, for the users, and MMOGLE catalogs and profiles and converter tool. And then uh, the, you can register your account in the application after that, you need to request your license key, which will arrive within 24 hours, and then you need to import it into your account. And you can start to set up your MMOGLE ecosystem in the application 
it is defining your customers, suppliers, and starts creating your assessments. Global MMO GLE training practices um, are one of the key elements of uh, development of MMO GLE actually, and uh, the, the trainers play really a key role in the in the uh, common understanding of the uh, MMO GLE process by users. And Odatch uh, has been listing approved training providers on its website. And OPCO is Odatch's approved trainer, training partner in Portugal, Spain, and Morocco. And um, last year, Odatch and AIAG completed a joint project for the harmonization of MMO GLE training practices in order to ensure the quality and consistency of global MMO GLE training practices and to harmonize the existing content and curriculum and to define the minimum core content and curriculum of uh, training practices. Uh, before this uh, initiative, each training organization had their own training content, but Audit and AIAG were convinced that there is a need to harmonize all these activities uh, for these purposes. Our contributors to this project were all training uh, organizations and also some OEMs and suppliers who provided uh, feedback uh, from customer point of view. And uh, at the end of this uh, initiative, a harmonized training content was developed. Uh, two course var variants were described. The first one for management awareness. This is for the uh, plant managers or supply chain managers or quality responsibles in the organizations who get involved in the assessment and who has an important role in the um, completion of a successful assessment and the second course variant is assessor training this is basically for the assessors it is more detailed one and uh, it is for the supply chain experts or managers who are in charge of uh, completing mmo gla assessments 16 different modules described in the content and topics and themes for each module defined and uh, also learning objectives for of each those topics were agreed together with the project group and um, now um, most of the training companies have already consolidated and updated their training content in accordance with this recommendation and also with version 5 and uh, in the content of this initiative a common certification scheme for the students uh, is also provided who participate and complete training course. For some additional uh, further information about MMOG LE, you can visit our uh, MMOG page on the website, or if you have any uh, technical questions, you can email us on info.audit.org or mmog.audit.org. And there is also a webinar uh, which which is describing the key drivers of uh, V5 and how to use MMO GMP. If you want to have uh, if, if you want access to that webinar, you can contact us and we can share the link. And it is also available on MMO G resources pages page. And um, for general questions or in queries about Audit International, you can again visit our website www.odet.org in order to review our publications and activities and you can email us and you can visit us on LinkedIn as well. So that's the end of my presentation. Thank you uh, for listening and I will be happy to answer your questions if you have any. Thank you very much, Vaisun, for your uh, enlightenment of the ODET activities mm -hmm. and to, in a way that you transmit us the, the, what are your work and how, how ODET can help us. And um, I have some, some questions related to the, that was given from us from, the, from our viewers. 
I have a couple of questions. So the first one is about the RFID label specification standards. Are they, have they been already developed and accepted by the OEMs? Mm -hmm. uh, well, maybe first of all, I should uh, say that um, RFID is one of the uh, technologies used for uh, tracking and tracing and assets. And yeah. there are also other technologies uh, could be preferred by uh, OEMs or suppliers like Bluetooth low emission or Six Fox, but it still tops the list. So that's why we have a working group right now together uh, with uh, OEMs who are yeah. implementing or considering to implement and use RFID. Uh, we have Renault, we have Daimler, Bosch, Rosa, different suppliers and OEMs for Turkey in the project group and also Volvo, AB Volvo. And uh, this, is, this is under uh, development actually, the specifications for RFID labels. When we speak about RFID labels, uh, there are two type of hardwares, uh, one uh, tags and uh, one the smart labels. So that's that's the work we are doing right now, uh, defining all technical and process descriptions. And we expect that uh, to be completed by the second half of next year. So uh, we, are, uh, we are coming together regularly on a bi-weekly meetings with this project group. Okay, thank you very much for your answer. Mm -hmm. The next one, is related with uh, what, what are the latest supply chain trends or areas that Odette has been considering to focus on, on the near future? Mm -hmm. uh, well, as I mentioned during my presentation, we have some uh, working groups for packaging management for uh, RFID, uh, as I just mentioned. In addition to those, there are other topics and uh, supply chain trends, uh, which are in our agenda for a while. And uh, one of them is the use of APIs in supply chain. Recently, VDA initiated a work group uh, and very soon it became an ODET uh, project in order to define the standard infrastructure for the use of APIs mm -hmm. in inbound logistics. Uh, because the use of uh, applications like mobile apps or portals by uh, customers, suppliers, and transport managers are increasing in addition to the EDI connection and API help, uh, help these systems to speak each other. And that's the purpose of this project to define a standard language for uh, automotive industry. And uh, uh, it is also in inevitable that electric vehicles uh, will be increasing its market share gradually, and this will imp have imp some impact in supply chain uh, new processes need to be will need to be introduced in terms of the transports or storage or end of life of EV batteries and its components and raw materials. So this this is one of the areas Odet is uh, considering investigating, uh, combining this uh, with you know the with the possibilities of uh, managing EV batteries with blockchain technology. And last but not least, outbound logistics is a new area. Uh, digital messages for finished vehicles, it was the beginning of it. And we are in the middle of the discussions with European Finished Vehicle Logistics Association, ECG, uh, because uh, we have the experience in inbound logistics and there are opportunities in outbound logistics to improve similar processes. So those are the points we have in focusing. Okay, thank you very much. So the last one I have here for you, uh, we had a lot of questions, but unfortunately our time is limited. So uh, MMOG can be considered as a risk assessment tool, question mark. Mm -hmm. What can be the relationships between it and logistic FMEA? Um, uh... MMOGLE, of course, it could be as uh, considered as a risk assessment tool. And there is also a particular chapter in MMOGLE itself for the risk assessment. Uh, but uh, I can say it is not just the risk uh, to assess the risk, but it is really very important uh, part of the business for supply chain. That's why the, it was the focus uh, with uh, the version V5 and the content of the risk management and the uh, existence of contingency plans at the organizations have been uh, improved uh, with V5. 
And uh, for the second part, FMEA, it is, um, it is a 4D production uh, quality process, but uh, MMOGLE is, a, you know, the focus for MMOGLE is supply chain and uh, okay. The, okay. the areas to improve in supply chain. Okay. Mm -hmm. We have time for another one, the last one. Yeah. What sure. is required from the automotive tiers one? Who would like to ask MMOG logistic for their sub suppliers? So, what sort of resources they will need, and how would or that support them? That's a very good question. As I mentioned, MMOG is a broad tool uh, for for the organizations to improve their supply chain processes, and it is not only helping OEMs and tier ones, but also lower tiers to uh, learn and understand the supply chain trends and to learn their uh, customer requirements. And uh, if tier one suppliers would like to implement MMOGLE, it's just the uh, decision, their uh, decision and, uh, you know, being organized on that. It does, it is, it is not costly. And there is also opportunity to save the time that uh, the customers spend on their suppliers daily problems. But if MMOG is in the chain, then it is res supplier's responsibility to define their gaps and to develop their action plans. And uh, we will be happy to uh, contact with any individual organization who needs support in the introduction and implement implementation of the tool and the platform. The platform, uh, there is no an IT ca cost for customers. And um, in addition to that, MMOG, it is actually part of MMOG LE chapter six. If a tier one completing an assessment for its customer, then there should be a process in place for the assessment of their suppliers. And MMOG LE is the best tool to deploy to the lower tiers because there are different profiles even for smaller organizations uh, like basic. So it is okay. really, it is really just you know a part of the strategic decision of the organization and being you know uh, organized about that. Okay, Besun, thank you very much for your clear answer, and uh, hope to see you soon uh, here or in a, elsewhere in Europe. Please stay safe and thank you very much for thank being you. here with us with your experience and to tell us something about the ODET system. Thank you very thank, much. Thank you, thank you. And have a good day and thank you for the invitation okay. again. Thank you, bye-bye. Bye-bye.